Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on, man? How y'all doing today? Coming to you on my lunch break. Sure, it's truly DJ B. Bob Brown, man, on the Bob Tizzle. Check this out. Decided just to come to you a little bit um, to talk a little bit about the spiritual journey that I'm on right now. Um, kind of new to it. Say I've been on this journey since about maybe uh, January. I guess that makes like eight months now. And um, when I tell you that this has been something that has been extremely different um, in my life, uh, walking with Christ, um, it has been uh, challenging. Um, it has been um, very different. And now I'm at a point in the journey where it's almost like disobedience I can't I can't it just won't be allowed like I just can't do it I, I have developed such a strong and personal relationship with the most high that it's almost like I refuse to let him down again you know I don't know if that makes sense to anybody who's going through the same thing but I'm just so in love with the fact that I love being obedient to the most high. Um, around eight months ago, I started um, practicing semen retention. And the benefits from semen retention has been miraculous. And when I tell you, from the weight loss to the muscle gain, um, even to hair growth, like, it's been so many benefits um, to semen retention. And I just give all praises to the most high. Um, excuse me for sweating, y'all. I'm at work right now, and I'm on my lunch break, and it's very hot. I'm, I'm in the state of Florida, so it's extremely hot right now. But I just wanted to come on just to kind of share my journey, share what I've been going through. Um, decided to start this community for like people like myself, who's also um, walking with the most high on the spiritual journey. Um kind of a, a place to where we can give each other tips, you know, um, advice, share some scriptures, um, you know, just really connect with each other. It's very important to to uh, stay around like minds, you know, iron sharp as iron. I, I always, I always believe that. And you have to, you know, one thing I've learned on this journey is you have to surround yourself around people who think the same way you think, who love the most high the same way you love the most high, who's obedient to his word, who's obedient to his commandments, who, who's obedient to his laws. Um, you have to surround yourself with those type of people, you know. When or a lot of times you go through the form of isolation, you know, that's what I was in the period of about the past, maybe... Like I said, I've been on this journey for about eight to nine months, but before that, I was just on isolation, not even knowing why God had me isolated, not knowing why it was, I guess the pandemic had kind of kicked in and this was all during that time, but he started working with me. He started waking me up. He started showing me different things. He started talking to me and just guiding me in the direction that I needed to go and just changing so many things that were broken with me, you know, and fixing them. And I just give all praises to the Most High, man. It, it has been, like I said, I, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this walk has been easy because it hasn't. It's probably been one of the most challenging things I've ever done in my life. But the benefits of it, oh, man, just the benefits of it. Um, it's amazing, you know. It's amazing what God can do in your life. When you're obedient, when you stick to his word, um, when you apply your life definitely does change. The blessings definitely do come in. God is a great God. He will reward you. Um, he will do great things for you, but you have to be obedient. I think it's a verse in the Bible, a scripture in the Bible that says, um, faith without works is dead. So that basically means if you're not putting in the work, if you're not doing what the Most High says that you have to do, then it's hard for you to really... Um, obtain all the blessings that he will have for you sometimes you can block your blessings by not being obedient a lot of times we um we try to pattern our own way we try to allow our flesh to to kind of lead 
instead of letting our spirit lead. And on the spiritual journey, you have to totally let your spirit lead. You have to basically kill your flesh. Your flesh has to die. You know, your flesh has to die. Because one thing I always say is uh, the flesh craves what the spirit does not desire. Let me say that again. The flesh always craves what the spirit does not desire. And on this spiritual journey, that's one thing I've noticed is it's a constant war between my flesh and my spirit. Uh, a lot of the things that I used to love doing, a lot of the fleshly things, you know, from uh, sex to drinking to partying to, you know, hanging out, you know, all those things defile my spirit. You know, those are things that's, that's, that's going to separate uh, my relationship with the Most High. And I can't have anything right now that's going to separate my relationship with the Most High. So when it comes to commandments, when it comes to laws, when it comes to anything that, that circles around Him, I'm definitely, definitely trying my hardest to stay obedient, um, showing discernment, reading my scriptures fasting, praying, um, staying away from temptation, not allowing myself even to be around uh, temptation, you know, not not allowing, not giving myself a window to mess up, you know, not giving myself uh, any room or error to, um, to backslide. Um, that's just not going to happen. That's just, I don't, it can't happen. Um, I feel like when God started calling and choosing a lot of people during these times, it's for a reason. It's for the times that we're living in, the wicked days that we're in, the beginning of the last. And he's waking up a lot of his people. You know, he said a lot of people, I think he said two-thirds of them are in a deep sleep. Um, two-thirds of them are lost, and, and, and two-thirds of them will, will wake up. And I just feel... A spiritual awakening I also feel blessed that he chose me to awaken me you know he could have left me alone he could have let me be he could have let me still uh, be a victim of Satan you know I, I was destined for hell I was destined for hell but thank God praise the Most High for changing my heart my spirit my mind my soul you know even even my walk you know um i'm a dj a lot of people don't know i'm a dj i do uh, clubs i also do radio so um a lot of times we don't realize when we speak and when we talk the wickedness that comes out of our mouth a lot of times we don't realize and it wasn't until the most high changed me that I realized that my talk was wicked. My walk was wicked. Everything I did was wicked. So in this process of this journey, I'm trying to basically change everything over. Um, I got my spiritual eyes open. I got my spiritual ears. He gave me eyes to see, ears to hear, um, knowledge, understanding, discernment, and wisdom. And now I'm using that and applying it in his name you know reading the word of god now i can see it differently i tell people sometimes until god open up your eyes until he give you eyes you can't even read the bible the bible is almost in codes it's almost in in in, in uh small little like messages in, that you can't see until god open up your eyes and give you the eyes to see a lot of times you can listen to music um, not understanding that the music has a spiritual undertone in it, right? Like a lot of rap, a lot of hip hop. But when God starts opening up your ears, you start hearing that demonic tone. You hear that force that's coming out of that. And you're like, whoa, you know, I praise the most high for what he's doing right now. And I know this is just the beginning. Um, I'm ready to pull on, put on the full armor. Um, I'm just loving this journey and i want to keep you guys posted i want to build this community like i said i want like minds uh, if anybody else um who's just started the spiritual journey if you want to share anything with me in the comment section you're more than welcome um 
I'm going to really build this page up in this community for people who are walking with the most high. Um, you can expect a lot of things on this channel from skits to travel to uh, lifestyle to just a lot of different things. It's going to be lovely. Just trust me, it's going to be lovely. So not trying to take any more of your time. Just wanted to kind of come through and just kind of give an introduction about the journey, um, about the walk that I'm on, about um, I'm, I'm going to talk on a, on a I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit more about, about this community, but just wanted to come through on my lunch break and just kind of just share that with you guys. Uh, make sure you like, uh, subscribe, um, also share this content with someone. Let's build this community up. This is our community. You know, let's let's work together, man, so we can praise the most high. All right. All right, man. I hope y'all have a great day. Talk to y'all later. God bless.